JVN's Most Wanted. We all need to work together to bring this guy to justice because this can't happen. We want to help you win. Tonight on JVN Most Wanted, we're hunting down a fugitive who has been on the run for nearly a decade. California chiropractor Stephen Clifford accused of sexually assaulting 11 of his patients, including a minor. The FBI says the assaults occurred between 1998 and 2002. A decade ago, he pleaded no contest to three of the 17 counts against him. But he vanished into thin air before he could be sentenced to prison. Now he could be anywhere in the world. Straight out to a very courageous woman, Kim Morris, one of Stephen Clifford's victims. And I know this is tough to talk about, but please set the stage. Tell us what this man did to you. Thanks, Jane, for having me on. Um, I actually went in for a chiropractic uh, appointment and um, the appointment ended where he had assaulted me and I left immediately. You had said something about it was so violent that you were afraid to move and you thought that your neck was going to be snapped. Tell me about that. Well, I think it's a fear of going to a chiropractor for me and I was terrified because I thought if I had moved, he was going to break my neck and um, I think you you just go into a survival mode and you're, you just kind of disconnect from what's going on and I just wanted to get out basically and got out the, alive and best as I could. And now we find out that you're not the only victim. In fact, we found that out a long time ago. And he was going to be sentenced to prison, but he vanished. Stephen Clifford. Now, let's give you a description. 5'10", 165 pounds, strawberry blonde hair, blue eyes, scars on his lower arms and forearms from severe eczema or psoriasis, uh, possibly in a 2002 metallic tan Dodge truck that may be towing a white camper. I want to go to Special Agent in Charge, Herb Brown, FBI. Um, you've been investigating this case. I understand this guy likes to drink, so he may be an alcoholic for all we know. He enjoys going to nightclubs. He speaks some French. He's armed and dangerous, possibly. And at one point, he was spotted in Baja, Mexico. So uh, first of all, I want to say anybody who has information, we want you to contact us or call the number on your screen. Call the FBI. My gosh, just pick up 911. Anybody will help you out with this. But what about this issue that he was down in Baja about, what, six years ago? And he was spotted there? Yes, Jane, that's correct. And first and foremost, thanks for having us on the program. It does a great service for this long-term investigation. He was spotted in Baja, California, and more importantly, he wanted at one point in time in 2006 actually to surrender to the FBI. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. And our latest information indicates that he might be living in San Felipe Beach in an RV in Baja, Mexico. Okay, I don't get it. We know that this fugitive was spotted in Mexico, in Baja, California, in 2006. We know what he looks like. We know what he might even be living in, some kind of camper. Uh, John Lieberman, HLN contributor investigator, first of all, thank you for bringing us this story. We want justice for Kim Maris and the other victims of this man. But why didn't they catch him in 2006? Well, this guy is slippery. He is a convicted sex offender, Jane. And these guys don't just stop doing this and get day jobs. They continue hunting innocent prey. And that's why we need to help track him down. Eleven innocent victims here, including Kim, need justice. And I want to point this out, Jane. Before these cases in California even happened, we've learned that he was actually had his chiropractor license suspended in Oregon over allegations of sexual misconduct. He is a terror, a predator, and needs to be stopped.